Professor Mike Huffman and Mahale Park Officer Mohamedi Kalunde have been working together for some time on the subject of animal self-medication. Their work accounts for much of what we know today about how wild chimpanzees treat sickness. Torrential rains and a poor diet leaves the chimps weak and tired. They're vulnerable to attack by parasites. The chimpanzees get infected by eating leaves and grass contaminated with worm larvae, which thrive in these warm, wet conditions. A month into the rains and many chimps begin to show the telltale signs of parasitic infection, diarrhea and stomach cysts. This female cysts are the likely result of nodule worms burying into the walls of her intestines. But wormy chimps have a remedy for parasites a strange behavior which puzzled scientists for some time until Mike Huffman deciphered it. Basically what, what the apes do is to take a leaf one at a time, very carefully and very slowly, pulling it into the mouth, folding it over two or three times, and then swallowing it. And they'll do this with up to 100 leaves in one sitting. Multiply this by a hundred, and the stomach doesn't know what to do with it. It's something that can't be digested, so it naturally pushes it through the system. And within about six hours, a hundred of these leaves come charging through the intestinal tract, pushing out the worms. These rough leaves act a bit like Velcro. They purge nodule worms from the chimpanzee's innards. Aspilia and some 40 other plants used by great apes for the same ends all have the same physical properties in common. A rough, hairy surface. It looks like Aspilia. I have to clean it out and see. It could be. No, it's Luago. Picus exasperata. At a higher ratio than average. Usually we have two leaves per one adult worm. But in this dung, we've got maybe four leaves tops, and we've got 10 worms so far. Across Africa, chimpanzees, bonobos, and gorillas ascribe to this same treatment. But witnessing it is rare. We know now that chimps self-medicate early in the morning or on an empty stomach and more often during the rainy season when parasites are active. Chimps build sleeping nests at night high up in the tree canopy. But when they're tired or unwell, they often build them during the day to rest in. This young chimp is collecting a powerful medicinal plant. It's not Aspilia, but a plant called Venonia amygdalina. Venonia works in quite a different way from Aspilia. Instead of scouring the gut with bristles, the bitter pith inside the stalk poisons intestinal parasites. The pith contains chemicals which inhibit parasite activity, as well as actually killing some microbes, which also infect humans. The Tongwe people of Mahale use this same plant as medicine, 